forefront. And so you, Liddy, there. I think right here, I wouldn't mind in the jungle. Yeah, just fine to me. Actually, I like jokes aside, a lot more is actually and in the one v one, right? I'm actually really excited. You could typically lock in with an on her, maybe like a critical strike chance. Maui have not seen a. Could say the same about Loki. I'm gonna admit, I just have bias toward Maui. I think he's really good, and I think in the right hand. Pythax piece for Nehu in the mid lane. We saw this sometimes with solo lane guardians. Primitive will use the ult immune out. Now Jangaru instead ults a minion, throws it in, gets the explosion on top of Spudio, and a jump in. Primitive gonna strike first blood for the Athenian Sages, and now Kha'Zix standing. Hesitant of Alice Hexbomb to really fight over it. Because what we've seen from North American teams especially, as Jangaru goes in, misses the Cobra's Kiss and has to dash away, but Johnny goes straight in! Double stun by him, Landfall, not gonna be pull anything as Primitive used this ultimate for the immunity, does find the pull on the Hawk to yank him back through, and now Jangaru goes in, ultimate from Hawk, just to give himself some safety, but a dunk in by Snatty! A turn and burn to the mid laner is just enough as Snatty picks up the first kill of the fight! And the Athenian Sages will back away with their victory. Hey, I was gonna At least those Oracle Harpies, so no vision immediately inside the pit. Spudio gonna be rooted out by Priv. Fast ultimate to get away and turns back through because Johnny is here. Goes in for the damage. Still has ultimate available. We'll use it to get the PEDs away from Ranjaru. Shell oh, wow. from Privative and now potential to box back. But range damage from Spudio. Can Kha'Zix find the landfall and keep eyes on the mid? Oh, no, in all the meantime, the gold period looks like it's taken down here by Hexman. With Snatty up in the sky, lands down. Only catches one, but it is Kha'Zix. Does find the wall and the double tap onto two. Ultimate for Kha'Zix misses where Prude was walking through. And that's a landfall on cooldown. Both soul laners have rotated over. Hawk goes up for the ultimate. It's an immediate dash out by Jengar. A lot of ultimates used, but no to the Athenian Sages. They will start this out. A good pull on a Kha'Zix, but no major follow-up. Johnny goes in, but Jengar is there to back him up. Jengar does get the taunt at the end. Ooh. It's a little more damage, but it's not going to be enough. Even Rinjaru's ult just out of range from clipping Johnny this time through. The Athenian Sage mid lane might be the option. And Gold Fury for the Athenian Sage to start this out. No one's around. Next Mambo. They, they missed the call. The Athenian Sage is going to grab an objective. And look where Snatty is the whole time. He's making sure that Pyromancer's not started by Mambo. For Just unsuspecting to it. Kha'Zix standing near as the Pyromancer pulled once more by the Sages. Hawk's here to throw out some extra pot shot damage for the team. May try and grab this one. Snatty up to the sky. The Sages get the Pyromancer. Primitive takes a lot of damage. And Snatty dunks in, finds the back line. Hawk gets a nice little bit of heal. And Snatty does some decent damage back, but look at Kha'Zix in the back line trying to keep it through. Oh, from Primitive, a pull back in. Kha'Zix is fine, and so is Hex Mamba, but Hawk doesn't want to give up this chase. Throws out the ultimate fight taken care of already. He's going to get poked out a bit. Julio's forced to engage it. Snatty! Oh, Snatty? Snatty? Up oh. to the sky just in time. Fast dunk out, and maybe now an opportunity for the Hex Mambo to jump in towards this beacon. Kha'Zix is going to stand on with Spudio, and just like that, Snatty poked a under half HP. The Sages. For the moment, we're giving up Beacon, but now it's Hex Mambo giving up. This is a back and forth, a uh, seesaw around the Beacon, but instead it's a call for Primal Fury by the Athenians, or by Hex Mambo, I should say. Athenian Sages even give up the Beacon to try and stop this one. It is back and forth in this jungle. They needed to make a commit there because now, look, they've just done some of the hard work for the Athenian Sages. Down half health on the Gold Fury already. Probably down to 20. Slow. 20. And Sages take it away. Sages get up and out. Primitive is low, trying to run through, but Julio is chasing him down. Up onto the cavalry and down goes the tree. A stun on Rinjaru in the back line will force him out. And Jangaru losing out on the 1v1 against Johnny. Run as fast as you can, little Sirke, because Johnny is here. And it's two kills now for Hex Mambo as they turn this fight right back around. Rinjaru pulled back in and nowhere to go. It's three for Mambo. EU Supremacy, we are here to stay. Oh, Dolson, I am sorry, but I'm a big EU fanboy here. We are mortal enemies to this. You couldn't tell me just quietly fist bumping as, you know, the Jangaru falls down to Johnny. I'm sorry, I can't do it to a man on his birthday, but I have to. Fire Giant, though, half HP. Sages walk up, it's just Snatty. And Nehu here. Nehu does not have ultimate yet. Fire Giant low, but now it seems to have given up as Nehu and Julio are just toying with Nehu in the back line. They will not let this man get through. Hex Mambo in one fell swoop are able to pick up three kills and a Fire Giant for the squad. Yeah, those are the first three kills that they've had all game as well. First 26 minutes, nothing. Self, a nice range allows them to deal with this Titan, and now they can even start their push up once their Titan joins them. Yeah, there we go. Chaos Sun has been driven back into the base, clearing the path for the Order Titan to walk up this mid lane. And when it pushes into this tier two, 
That's where you're going to see the engage come out from either Kha'Zix, Julio, or Hawk. Those three just look out for, but it's not going to be primitive going on the AH first. Kha'Zix in danger, can't even swing away, just barely gets away, but he dies to the poison of Jengaru. One kill now for the Sages. Nehu old just off the mark. The Titan's still swinging away at the tower, while the Sages try and repel Hex Mambo. Mambo have not given up just yet. Tier 2 tower will be at the bare minimum their prize for losing out on their support. And that's it, that's it. That's the push over. They're gonna back off and they're gonna say, fine, you got us. ...his way through the jungle to get those pokes and setting up for Hex Mambo. Taking Oni Fury for themselves. No contest here by the Sage. They've been driven back and it's all Hex Mambo coming up big for them in these laps. I'm primitive. If the, uh, if Sylvanas Ultimate or if the Anvil of Dawn come out and they're good, the fight for Athenian Sages can win almost instantly, especially with Nehu on that uh, follow-up with that uh, Searing Pain. If, however, Primitive and Snaddy are caught out defensively and have to use their ultimates defensively and reactively, Hex Mumbo just walk through these fights. Well, will be a Pyromancer for Hex Mumbo, putting a Runic Bomb in their pockets for the next Fire Giant, to the matter of fact. Standing there, so the couple of structures still available. Could see him used on the birds. We saw that used very commonly in the last few sets so far today. Could see. Has the potential to maybe try and steal away a fire or secure it for themselves. As you mentioned earlier, one runic bomb, and even having just Nehu on there with that ultimate, probably the best secure on the map, at least for the Sage's side. Yeah, 100, I think it's, it's the best secure on the map, period, right now, because just of how much pure damage that ultimate does in a single tick versus the overall damage over time he will get from Hawk's uh, home sweet home, or those uh, potion drops that he does eventually you know, drop a couple of them in the fight. But Fire Giant has been started, it is the enhanced version. So this is something that the Athenian Sages definitely do not want to give over for free. Johnny versus Jangaru, jump away by Jangaru with Pritis standing by. Maybe he has to give us a fight, but Jangaru split himself away from the team. This could be a death on the Sir Keck. quick dash out. But now Johnny is here, stun on top. Hex Mambo take the one for one trade, because now Johnny is gone. It's both junglers out, but Primitive is low. And Spudio's gonna make sure to deal the final auto. Hex Mambo come up with two. Snatty though, trying to fight back through his Hawk, makes it three. Snatty in the middle of four, that's gonna be four. Hex Mambo come up big in the fight. Oh, and they're not looking for the fire shine here. They're looking to try and end. They're going for this tier two tower on the right hand side, push straight into the Phoenix. It's all Nehu up. And I don't think Ra has a snowball's chance of stopping this one. Julio and the rest of Hex Mambo pushing in off the back of Johnny's engage on Jangaru. Phoenix down to half, just Nehu, no ultimate just yet. But one of the faster Ooh. cooldowns in the game to come back through. Spudio gets tagged, and the Titan has been started up. Nehu throws out the snipe, but only his Kha'Zix. Nehu stunned out by Kha'Zix, beads immediately away, and forced under the fountain in one fell swoop. The Hex Mambo have taken game number one, and North America loses out in this first one. It's 5-0 and oh right now between EU and North America. It has a danger of becoming a 6-0 sweep here as Hex Mambo take that game. It wasn't clean. Athenian Sages did look comfortable, I think, for large portions of that game. It all just turned around, though, when Johnny started to hit that level 20 and started to become a nuisance in these fights rather than a spectator just passively farming in the background. Yeah, because this was not a game that was in Hex Mambo's control to start this all. up all the way until, I believe it was that second beacon spawn. This is Athenian Sages, a 500 to start.